the Black Panther Party. The Black Panther Party said, we are gonna supplement programs in the community where we are gonna take care of our community because that's where liberation begins. Liberation begins with the idea of self-sufficiency. Liberation begins with the very idea of self-sufficiency. You cannot speak of true liberation if you are not entertaining the idea of becoming self-sufficient. We cannot depend on others yet simultaneously speak about liberating ourselves. Imagine liberating the body and still being incarcerated in mind. By the way, that's exactly what's occurring right now because we are quote unquote liberated in body. Yeah, you could go free to go wherever you want, but we are incarcerated in mind. Imagine being liberated in body and being incarcerated in mind and really thinking at the end of the day that you're free. Imagine being liberated in body and incarcerated in mind and actually thinking that you are free. Yeah, you free. You free to be dumb. Yeah, you're free. You're free to be dumb. Because the real liberation is liberation in mind. Stop allowing the oppressor to incarcerate your mind. Stop allowing the oppressor to colonize your mind. Repopulate your mind with those ideas that your ancestors birthed. Repopulate your mind with the culture of your ancestors. In the words of the strict scriptures, come out of her, my people. One of the most powerful elements, one of the most powerful elements within the Black Panther movement is how they incorporated the women within that movement. We don't really get this. We, I mean, like, we really don't get this. If you think the liberation of our people will happen with the men on the front lines and the women in the kitchen preparing the meals so that the men can be on the front lines, well, you will continue to be liberated in body and incarcerated in mind, thinking that you're free, but you're really just free to be dumb. Because if you don't know the full worth and value of the precious daughters of Zion, if you do not know the full worth and value of our precious women of the culture, you cannot enjoy liberation. There is no liberation apart from the involvement of all parts of the black family. There is no liberation without the involvement in all parts of all of the black family. You cannot keep the woman outside of the movement and then expect movement. You cannot keep the women outside of the movement and then expect movement. The Black Panther Party was so brilliant in their usage of all elements of the Black family because even the children had a job too. But let's talk about these great women. Angela Davis. Let's talk about these great women. Kathleen Cleaver. Let's talk about these great women. Erica Huggins. Huh? Talk to me, talk to me. And these are just a few, these are just a few. We have the right intention with the wrong ideas. We have the right intention with the wrong ideas. The right intention is to know that we need liberation. The wrong idea is to think that the black woman is not inclusive in that pursuit. The right intention is to know that you need liberation. The wrong idea is to think that the black woman is not inclusive in that movement.